Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to the Red Estate. The last episode was, uh, you know, either a resounding success or a terrible defeat, depending on your criteria for both. Uh, we managed to lose three characters and dismiss a fourth, but we came back with 15,000 gold, so, you know, there is that. Uh, we're not going to waste much time. Uh, I guess one thing on the estate menu, uh, we have unlocked uh, the tavern, the graveyard, the guild, and the blacksmith. At this early stage, I'm not going to waste, quote-unquote, any gold upgrading characters that you know, may not be with us all that long. And instead, we're going to pop back over to the estate map and look to go out on our next dungeon crawl. Uh, I actually really like this wield expedition on... Uh, for the Warrior's Bracer, the 15% damage skills is not bad. Uh, many people have mentioned before that uh, in lower light levels, dodge is kind of less critical. Uh, you can expect to just sort of get hit all the time. Uh, so maybe dodge-centric things are, are not uh, quite so valuable as they once were. Um, and compared to the, the option, so plus 25% against just humans or 15% across the board, I think I'd rather have across the board I'm not super excited by Bounty Hunter move skills or a Death Blow Resist uh, trinket. So yeah, let's let's take to the the wield for our our next outing. Uh, that's gonna mean I would like to grab several level zeros, but I think I'm gonna pass on bringing out another antiquarian. I feel like that last adventure was close to being okay, if. Maybe we didn't have the Antiquarian. Having a character that like literally couldn't do any damage uh, to the enemy was was a little bit of a problem. Um, and so, like this... Combat skills, pick the face could be used for the front three. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. And then... Uh, Shrivelin can take up the front. And so that leaves us with a third rank spot. And I'm thinking... Ooh, Plague Bearers. I'm thinking that um, Past Fourier uh, might do well in that third position. We've got stuns. We've got Plague Grenades. Yeah, totally. Why not? Um, not a lot. I'm thinking from a trinket perspective yet. Um, I'm not able to equip from here. That's a little unfortunate. We'll not open up the trinket menu. All right, give me just a second to fight with the UI effectively. All right, here we go. So, Stone of Endurance. And these are the uh, the PlayStation exclusive Stone of Patience and Stone of Endurance. Um, sort of a, a nod from the developers about having to wait uh, for the PlayStation version of the game to come out after the PC. Um, Deathblow Resist or down stress and up virtue chance. Otherwise, we're looking at bleed skills and disease resist. Neither of these seem all that great. I mean, we might as well equip for like added de-stressing, I suppose. Uh, but the others I think I'll leave for, for right now. And we'll go ahead and see uh, what we can do with this crew. Um, Provisioning is going to be pretty heavy with uh, the wield. Say three shovels. Um, plenty of both of those, as there is both blight and bleed uh, for us to deal with down here. Uh, keys are probably not that valuable, and we're not going to be bringing any torches. I think maybe holy water might serve a little bit of a purpose. So we'll go with something like that. And we'll beware marks for uh, fungal artillery, as those guys are a giant pain. Let's just leave it at that. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Uh, one other thing, I have turned down the volume a little bit. I felt like the uh, the game sound was a little overwhelming in the last video. Ooh, a map it is indeed better than a trap. Uh, we get a nice little scout here, letting us know that, oh man, not a nice little scout, a nice big scout, letting us know that we don't need to head down 
uh, that other hallway. Actually, we don't even need to go this way. So let's just backtrack a little bit and save ourselves a shovel. Uh, we'll gain maybe like five stress from it, maybe 13 stress from it, but that's not all that bad. We can pop to right here in order to have a grave robber rob a grave. All right. The UI is... Fortune waiting to be spent. The UI is not bad, by the way. Um, as I get used to it more and more, like there's some really good things there. Um, once it becomes kind of muscle memory-like, I, I think I'm going to be doing just fine. I still do miss the idea that I can scout ahead by mousing over uh, the curios. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Uh, mousing over the curios ahead of me um, to see if they're quest related or not. Treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. But otherwise, things uh, things feel pretty good with the controller. Now, this is actually going to be the only thing we need to do to complete this dungeon, uh, which is pretty awesome, all things considered. Now. Well, why don't we start off with a blinding gas, see if we can't gain a turn on these guys. Eh, only send one of them. I don't love that. And that really didn't do as much damage as I needed it to. Uh, four to nine? Only five. Ow. Um, Hugh, five to ten on both. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. One killed and one stunned in the first turn. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Keep in mind, um, three-fourths of our party are level zero uh, in a level one dungeon, so they're going to be maybe a little bit underpowered. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And I'm really just hoping for uh, the ability to maybe clear... Let's go with that. To clear the corpses before uh, we don't have... The occultist fancy corpse clearing. That's unfortunate. Well, in that case, I think our um, our leper up front is going to be in kind of a bad way. Um, he does have purge. Okay, it seems like the obvious choice here, allowing him to uh, at least do something next turn. And then I suppose why don't we pass out some healing, crit for twenty? You know, I'll. I'll just <laughs> I'll probably appreciate that happening. Um, maybe at times it's a little more valuable. But I think that's going to mean everybody dies by inches. by inches before they're able to act. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Now we don't have our fancy uh, give me my party order back button. Um... So, Christine Fountain, is that going to want holy water? It does. Awesome de-stress. Um, do I need to... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out. There we go. Button, move. Ah, gotcha. Okay, i got to be on the map screen in order to reshuffle my party, uh, which is a little weird, but I can I can make do with that. Um, otherwise, let's push forward just a little bit here. Um, we can use up some of these provisions that we brought with us in order to get a little bit better Locking reward. The is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. We'll have one more fight, but then four more curios for our trouble. Assuming we don't, uh, you know, run afoul of, like, a, a shambler down here, I think things are going to be okay. Alright, one damage, a little bit of bleed. Not the worst thing that could happen. Um, and then... Let's try to hit this guy. He can be pretty slippery, so I figure uh, if we can get it done... Early on, it's probably for the best. Z did get a dodge there. Um, I think I'm going to try for it again. Awesome. 
Uh, that, combined with the damage over time, should mean the end of him. He can be pretty pesky. Something like that there. Great. And then... Try for the stone? Maybe we stall for like just a minute here? Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Although, now that I think about it, it's probably unnecessary. Considering I've got a full scout and I know that I'm not going to be uh, encountering any more battles. Um, I don't have anything that de-stresses. So it's probably not meaningful. Okay, and again, that screen, not you. Oh, man. Okay. You two swap, then you move up to the front. There. All right. Problem solved. Uh, now, we've got a few more curios. This holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeymen. A few more curios to deal with. I'm just looking at this. And baubles paid for in blood. As an opportunity to grab as many trinkets and baubles and glittering gold as humanly possible. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Hmm, how do we Uh, I'm trying to see... I've, I think I've done this before, but I'm like, how do we figure out... Hmm. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I was trying to figure out how do we see who has what trap percentage uh, without being able to mouse over, you know, the little uh, spiderweb symbol above the character health bar. Let me try that one more time coming up. And... Uh, you know what? Uh, there's a slight chance this goes wrong, but... Ooh. Ooh! That was way worse than I thought it could be. Okay. Uh, we managed to pick up slow reflexes. That was real bad. Now, here's what I'm looking for. So... Do we look at that... That trap disarm number isn't right. Hmm. Where would I see that? I honestly don't know. It's not 50% though. Uh, not on a grave robber. So that seems a little bit off. Um, if any of you guys know how to deal with that, how do I see the trap disarm percentage chances uh, on the PlayStation 4? I would, I would love to have that as a pro tip. Um, otherwise, man, this dungeon went swimmingly well uh, compared to our last one. Yeah, definitely. The agents of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. Now, granted, we're not going to come out with 15,000 gold. Uh, far from it, it looks like. But we, we did pick up quite a few uh, decent gems. Um, almost 9,000. <laughs> not quite over 9,000, but almost 9,000. And really kind of light on the heirlooms, unfortunately. Um, hard skinned is awesome. Oh, wow. Hard skinned on both of them. Um, yeah, no, that's like, that's real great. Uh, not going to complain even a tiny bit about double hard skinned. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. All right, and we've unlocked our sanitarium as well as both the cove and the warrens, which is uh, pretty spectacular. Let's pop back over to our stagecoach real quick and see... Uh, only our houndmaster is new. I could always use a houndmaster, so let's go ahead and recruit him. A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle. And bloodshed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, um, nobody's really all that stressed out, which is great. Uh, I might make a trip to the sanitarium, or um, I may self-impose 
like a strategic rule here, which is it's probably not worth it to spend any gold on a character before they've hit level two. Um, if they can't survive, you know, level one dungeons without any upgrades, then it doesn't make much sense to keep them around. Um, so I might hold on to visits to the sanitarium or any guild or blacksmith upgrades until these characters have proven themselves a little bit more, but it won't take long before we get there. As you can see, that last dungeon, man, we breezed right through that, which I think is awesome and proof of concept uh, shows a lot more possibilities for uh, our, our torchless run than maybe the last dungeon uh, gave the impression of. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to subscribe. There's lots more on the channel. You can leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos. And I will catch you guys next time.